What's the future of medicine? It's all about precision. Simply put, it means the right treatment for the right patient at the right time. But why do we need precision medicine and how precise can it actually be? To find the answers, I'm going to talk to some medical experts at the Shanghai Medical Forum. More than 300 medical experts from home and abroad attended the forum with the goal of forging collaborations for the future of universal precision medicine. So what is precision medicine? By definition, it's a medical approach that uses a person's unique genetic, environmental, and lifestyle information to tailor disease prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. Unlike a traditional one-size-fits-all approach, it aims to provide more accurate and effective care by predicting which treatments and prevention strategies will work best for an individual patient. Precision medicine is part of a broader um, concern which is to do with precision health um, because what we want to do is link, live long and healthy lives and, um, and avoid becoming sick if at all possible. So precision medicine is important because it, it, it uses biological knowledge about individuals to try and tailor the therapy or the drug to that individual person based on their biology. But also in health, for each individual there's an optimized lifestyle, diet and exercise regime which helps you stay well. Right now, precision medicine is used most in cancer treatment. For example, in approximately 20 to 30 percent of breast cancer patients, there's an overexpression of a protein called HER2. Traditional chemotherapy is less effective for these patients. By identifying this group through genetic testing, a targeted drug can be specifically used to attack HER2 positive cancer cells, significantly improving treatment efficacy. Prime example would be cancer. And uh, as long as the cancer is advanced and you know and have metastasis, you can no longer do surgery. Well, that's what you can do is you can sequence the genome of the cancer and have a look what are the driver mutations of the cancer. And then you can develop a specific therapy in order to cure that cancer. Precision medicine in 2025 has hit a critical point. It's no longer just a concept, it's now scaling up and truly transforming global healthcare. This leap forward is powered by big data. AI can sift through massive amounts of genetic info, health records, and medical images to find patterns humans would miss, making precise diagnosis and prediction a reality. You could describe a human by a million variables. 2 million variables, right? T doctors typically use about 20 or 30 variables to, to describe what a patient. But with um, these very powerful computers uh, and, and uh, capabilities now, you can start to analyze millions of pieces of data about an individual and then decide which are the like the 20 or 30 that you need to measure for you or for me or for for that person, because they're not always the same things that describe that person's health well. So why is the medical field emphasizing precision medicine? What's its significance? On one side, it reduces adverse drug effects. I think in terms of um, phenotypes, there are actually different sorts of diseases. So we used to think of diabetes as having just two sorts, type 1 and type 2. We're now aware that there's four or five or even more sorts of diabetes that really demand different treatment strategies. And so I think that the, the disease phenotypes in the subclassification of diseases will be really helpful in terms of determining what's going to help and what isn't. On the other side, it prevents patients from undergoing ineffective therapies, saving time and money. There's lots of interesting technical as well as, as sort of sociological challenges for bringing precision medicine to reality in the modern world. But it's a challenge that's worth doing because imprecise medicine, um, or impersonalized medicine, is, ve is, is actually very much more expensive because what you're doing is getting is not getting the right treatment for the right patient you're getting the wrong treatment for the patient and then you keep doing the wrong treatment eventually you find the right treatment so so conventional medicine the conventional approach is actually very inefficient medical professionals added there's still a long way to go before everyone can benefit from precision medicine due to its high cost data privacy concerns scientific complexity and technology availability 
So what's next for precision medicine? It's moving beyond just treatment. The real future lies in being predictive, personalized, and participatory. It will predict your health risks before you even feel sick, create truly personal treatment plans, and actively involve you in managing your own health.